In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will see what is impulse, what is momentum, impulsive force, impulse momentum equation, and conservation of momentum equation. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Consider a ball is acted upon by a force for a period of time. So this force is said to have an impulse on the ball and magnitude of this impulse is product of the force and duration for which it acts. From this table we can observe that the greater the time over which the collision occurs, the smaller the force acting upon the object. To maximize the force on an object, time must be decreased. Momentum is defined as the measure of the motion of a moving body. The product of mass and velocity is called momentum. A rugby player has great momentum which is hard to stop. To stop that player, force is applied against his momentum by another rugby player. As the force applied by the player for an amount of time results in change in his momentum. Consider a boy playing baseball. When a bat hits a ball, there are two forces, action and reaction force, at the point of contact which are also called impulsive force. Due to this impulsive force, new momentum is gained by the ball. When a large force acts for a very small time, it causes a considerable change in a particle's momentum. It is called an impulsive force. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let us derive the equation for impulse momentum. According to Newton's second law, the summation of all forces is equal to mass into acceleration. But acceleration is a partial derivative of velocity with respect to time. On substituting the value of acceleration in Newton's law equation, we get the following equation. Since mv is referred as momentum, integration force between the time interval t1 to t2 during which the velocity of particle changes from v1 to v2, we get the following equation. Since the integration of force between the time limits is the impulse on the particle, therefore we get the impulse momentum equation. How to apply an impulse momentum equation? Consider a cricket ball strikes the bat at velocity v1 and it is hit back by the batsman with velocity v2. The ball was in contact with the bat for time t. Step 1. Show the initial momentum vector on left hand side that is the ball moving with velocity v1. Step 2. In the center show the forces acting on it that is weight of the ball and force with which the ball was hit. Step 3. On the right hand side show the final momentum that is the ball moving with velocity v2. Applying impulse momentum equation, we get the following equation. By knowing the initial velocity, final velocity, mass and time, force can be found out. Let us solve a problem on impulse momentum equation. The 75 kg crate is originally at rest on the smooth horizontal surface. If a towing force of 175 Newton is acting at an angle of 30 degree is applied for 12 seconds, determine final velocity and normal force which the surface exerts on the crate during this time interval. We will first draw the diagram showing initial momentum. Free body diagram in which all forces are acting and final momentum. Now applying impulse momentum equation in x direction. Considering all the forces in x direction and multiplying it with time, we get the equation as shown. On substituting the values, we get the final velocity with which the crate is moving. Now applying impulse momentum equation in y direction. Considering all the forces in y direction and multiplying it with time, we get the equation as shown. On substituting the values, we get normal force which the surface exerts on the crate during this time interval. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Consider a boy standing on a boat. Both are initially at rest. If the boy jumps off horizontally in the water with velocity VB dash, he induces a backward motion to the boat, which now starts moving in velocity VA dash. To jump off from the boat, the boy exerts an impulsive force through his feet on the surface of the boat. This induces a reaction impulsive force to the man by the boat. Here the impulsive force exerted by the man on the boat or reaction impulsive force of the boat on the man 
is nothing but action and reaction forces acting for the same time interval. Due to this, the net impulse in the direction of motion is zero. So we can say that for dynamic situation involving a system of particles, if the net impulse is zero, the momentum of the system is conserved. The equation of conservation of momentum is therefore expressed as initial momentum equals final momentum. Let us consider a problem based on conservation of momentum. A man of weight 700 Newton is standing on one end of a boat of weight 2200 Newton and 3 meters long. He then walks to the other end of the boat. What is the corresponding displacement of the boat? Neglect water resistance to motion. Let us assume that the boat is displaced in the forward direction by x meters as the man reaches the other end. Apply conservation of momentum equation in the x direction, that is, initial momentum equals final momentum. Initially, the boat and the man both are at rest. Therefore, initial momentum is zero. Now converting mass of boat and of man in kg, we divide it by g. Note, to convert Newton into mass, we divide weight by g, that is acceleration due to gravity. As we have to find the displacement, we have to take the derivative of velocity. Therefore, we get the following equation. Now, integrating within the limits. For man, its limits will be 0 to 3 plus x, while for boat, limit is 0 to x. On evaluating the integration and substituting the values, we get the value of x, that is displacement of the boat. Since the value is negative, our assumption is wrong. Therefore, the boat is traveling backwards. Let us take a quick overview of this easy ed video lecture. Here, we have seen a force is applied to the ball, which is also called as impulse. So the magnitude of this impulse is the product of the force and the duration for which it acts. Then we have seen what momentum is. When a rugby player runs, he runs with great momentum. So momentum is defined as the measure of the motion of a moving body. The product of mass and velocity is called momentum. And when a large force acts for a very small time, this causes a considerable change in a particle's momentum. This is called as impulsive force. Here we have taken example of a man playing baseball. After that we have derived impulse momentum equation with the help of Newton's second law equation. How to apply impulse momentum equation? Step 1. Show the initial momentum vector on the left hand side. Step 2. In the center show all the forces acting. Step 3. On the right hand side show the final momentum vector. Then we have seen conservation of momentum equation where a boy jumps from a boat. Considering this situation we have applied conservation of momentum equation. So this is the overview of our video lecture.